loss against Oklahoma State going into Baylor. Um, you know, we wanted to bounce back in that that game. Um, they're a tough opponent, but uh, really, I feel like our true bounce back, uh, back bounce back game could come against uh, Oklahoma this Saturday. So. Hi, Ochai. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How do you keep from being frustrated? You know, when when you guys have these moments that are of greatness and then you have times when you're not getting the results you want, what has been the key for this group? Because, man, you're in a year where you have to stick together because it's mm -hmm. rough all around. Yeah, yeah. You know, just, just really, you know, reminding the team, um, reminding the guys, you know, that, you know, in this in this uh, you know situation, you really can't get too high or too low um, about things. Um, you know, we've been up here, and you know, we're been down here. But you know, we just got to keep level and keep moving and stay positive. Really, um, you know, just try to keep getting better every single day to, you know, come out with wins in these games. So, you know, we're looking ahead to tournament time when you know they're talking about everybody being in one place. But so, what is the message uh, basically for this team to stay focused? Because, you know, it's that second season everybody still aims for. Um, and you guys still are, you know, are up there. You're ranked. What is the message to the team um, as far as staying focused? And what can you do to get better? I'd say just, just you know, needing, needing guys to step up, um, knowing that, you know, we have to have those guys to step up to win. Um, some, you know, just guys – not really in particular, but just, you know, energy and different things like that, that go into winning games and tangibles that really go into winning games. I think we just need to get a better grasp on that and, you know, just understand that better. So, you know, moving forward, we can be more successful. Successful. Okay. Hey, Ochai, what did, uh, what did Oklahoma do to you guys or, or what was the biggest challenge about them when they came up here that, that you guys are kind of focusing on going down there? Uh, I think it was really just when we defensively, they had us, uh, you know, spread out. They um, they were kind of playing off their big. Uh, I think just just us turning turning them up more on defense or on offense. Uh, I think is our biggest game plan going in there, um, making them play bad uh, on their home court. Just you know, that's that's what we need to really focus on. Just going on in these road battles and stuff. Obviously, Manic didn't play in that game, but you've seen him before. Does that change the approach um, or, or does it, you know, kind of fall in line with what you did last time? Because I think that game you said with him being out, you, you didn't really change much. But now that you know he's yeah. most likely going to be back anyway, do you do you focus on him more or is it the same idea? I would, I would say my idea. Um, I mean, leading up until game time, that's when we found out that he wasn't going to be playing. So just the same mindset going into this uh going into playing Oklahoma and how they run their offense through him and, uh, you know, just attacking him and, you know, taking away what he has in his, his game. So. Hey, Ochai, whether it's Drew Timmy or Kate Cunningham or, or Butler, how do you guys bother or disrupt a, another player who has a hot hand? Really just, really just, I think Keenan and locking in on that person, um, you know, sometimes they will put Marcus on them and they'll, you know, play to a switch or something like that to get Marcus off. Um, but really, it's just the other guys that, you know, have to really lock in and focus when they're guarding that person to, to you know, to disrupt them more than, you know, than what we've been doing, obviously, because, you know, teams have their best players and, you know, when their best players get off to good starts, that's what they play to. So I think eliminating that moving forward is something that or just is something that we could do better, I think. Coach, are, are teams uh, doing anything different with Jalen right now? Obviously, you got off to such a hot start this season and, and, and you know, drew some attention probably because of that. Are you seeing teams defend him any differently or, or, or force him into things that maybe he's not wanting to do? I wouldn't say defend him differently. I would say just keying in, keying in on him more, um, being aware of him on the offensive or on our offensive end. Um, I think just scouting him better. I think that's, you know, moving into this, this conference season. I think that's something that, you know, guys kind of go against as the other teams scout against them. So, I mean, just adjusting to that, uh, adjusting to that and, you know, playing through that, I think is something that's new to him. 
Um, and I've been talking them through that. So what, what's the advice you give him? How does someone get through something like that? I mean, it's hard just to, you know, go against other people scouting you, but it's really to just play in our system and, you know, play how we play and not really get sped up by what they're trying to do to us. So. Sure. That's probably a familiar adjustment to your freshman year. Would that mm -hmm. be fair to say? Yeah, I would, I would agree. And, and so I guess what were the, the things that were told to you at the time and, and how frustrating was it at times? Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, it, I didn't what I was getting. Uh, yeah, it, it does get frustrating. Um, just being in that position, I mean, kind of going against something you've never really gone against is which is like other team scouts and, you know, big 12 conference scouts and other assistant coaches, Keenan watching film and stuff. So it's 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 a new kind of aspect to, to the game that um, is new to a lot of like freshmen newcomers coming in, but just really staying in it, you know, not really getting too caught up in that and just playing your game. I think and playing within, you know, us and what we can do, I think that's just the most important thing that he can think back to. So I'm just reminding him that and just stay, keeping him positive. So. Ochai, Rich Hollenberg, ESPN. Uh, going back to something that you said a little while ago about the scout on Oklahoma and making them play bad. Can you give me a couple of examples defensively of how you can take them out of what they like to do offensively? It's a, just just being more disruptive um, on the defensive end, getting more deflections, getting more steals, um, leading into easy baskets for us. Because I mean, this year that's something that we've uh, I, I would say we struggled on um, just being more disruptive on the defensive end and getting easy baskets that way. But also just making them make bad decisions just from our aggress like our aggressiveness and just defensive presence. I think more of that's that's what I mean as and playing, making them play bad. Gotcha. And three-point shooting this year, um, what would you attribute that to going back to off-season into this year? I'd say just just really getting getting more reps up over that quarantine kind of summertime um, that we had off, uh, just getting more reps up uh, every single day, just, just getting more relaxation for my shot, um, form really just not really thinking too much into that and just being relaxed when I shoot. So that's, that's really how I see it. Was there any kind of routine? Like, did you have days when you wanted to make X amount of makes or X amount of shots, anything like that? Mm, nothing really like that. Just every day, just getting reps up till I felt like it was, it was good enough. I mean, for that day, that's, that's kind of how I did it. So. Ochai, what was, gotcha. Thanks. What, what was the, switch for you um from first half to second half against Baylor it seemed like first half kind of quiet and then second half it looked like you were more intentional about I got to get going mm -hmm. um what was your mindset there between the two halves uh really I just I kind of talked to coach about it a little bit I had started off the game kind of really amped up kind of too sped up uh didn't really get to that happy medium early on but um playing through foul trouble for first and like in the first half was kind of dealing with that but you know just coming out in the second half staying aggressive knowing that you know we just had a still of, of a fighting chance in that game and you know I just had to keep my team in it you know just stay aggressive so did it feel natural I mean is that have you reached that point where that's you now yeah um my teammates they, they do a great job and just like keeping me confident keeping me going knowing that just to look for my shot and to stay aggressive because you know like they need me on the court for that so yeah all right, guys, we have, uh, we have Tristan here, so we're going to let him try to go and uh, get Tristan up. Thank you, guys. Thanks.